What is going on guys, Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. I have Coach Tanya who is gonna be kind of like helping me out with this video as we go over one of the biggest deadlifting tips that not only improve my deadlift, but a lot of athletes that I coach, it helps them as well. Although it seems minor, it will make a big difference in the long haul. So Coach Tanya is gonna just kind of start warming up. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some things and then we're gonna get right to this tip. So make sure you're listening up, get your pen, papers ready and start implementing it in your training right now. So if you guys don't know my relationship with the deadlift, it's a love-hate relationship. When I was younger, I didn't really deadlift that much. So I uh, took a lot of time to play catch up with the deadlift. Obviously as a sport of straw man, you need to have a big pull. Uh, so I kind of went from like a 500 pound pull all the way up to a 750 pound deadlift. And I just really try to break down the movement, study it as best as possible. Uh, so there is a whole deadlifting playlist that you can also watch on my channel to catch up with all the videos I've put out with tons of tips. Now, this is a tip I have talked about before uh, that we're gonna get into with Coach Tanya, but it's very important and something you guys really need to utilize in your training if you want to have a big, strong deadlift that's technically proficient as well. All right, so what is this tip that I keep talking about? And the big tip, guys, when it comes to the deadlift in your training is resetting before every rep, okay? A ton of people are wasting a lot of energy and they're losing their technique uh, when they're doing touch and go deadlifts uh, in the gym, okay? Now, there is a time and place for touch and go when it comes to specificity and that is in competition. So obviously, you do need to have that as a skill if it is involved with your uh, practice of competition. However, if you're just training in the gym and you're trying to get your deadlift stronger, there really isn't much of a reason to do touch and go deadlifts. Uh, and I'm gonna explain why. Uh, but basically you're gonna watch Coach Tanya do a couple deadlifts, maybe a set of five, where she is resetting between each rep. And I'm gonna talk you through on why this is important. So guys, when she's getting set up, okay, we wanna make sure that obviously her body is gonna be as close to the bar as possible. Uh, typically we will feel the bar travel up our shins when we're pulling. That's just a good setup. Now if she goes to pull, so you're gonna pull the bar. Okay, it's in a perfect setup here, right? It usually happens in the first rep, so pull all the way up. Good, down. Nice. So after that first rep, what can typically happen is the bar may move a little bit, okay? So when that happens, we need to be able to adjust our body to get back into the proper position. Now when we're doing touch and go deadlifts, okay, and we're not resetting, the bar can keep traveling out more and more off our body, which is gonna cause the shoulders to round forward. It's gonna just put us in a, in a less uh, of an optimal position for our pull, okay? So every time we take the, the extra second to reset between, we're putting ourselves in a good mechanical, uh, advantageous position, to be as efficient as possible when we're pulling, okay? So what I want you to actually do is do a set of five touch and go deadlifts uh, where you're not resetting and we can kind of watch and see where the bar goes and maybe her position as well. how far the bar is off of her shins, okay? This is obviously a light load, so the heavier that she's getting, the more this can become problematic. So on lighter weights, right, people get away with it because it's light, obviously, and they can move the weight and it's fine. But if you're someone who's going heavier and you're noticing that you're having a problem with your technique, right, focus on what you're doing uh, with your setup and if you are resetting between your lifts or if you are doing touch and go deadlift. So this becomes a problem for people who are really trying to become experts uh, or just really become better in the deadlift. These are like the little things that you need to pay attention to, okay? So making sure that you reset between your reps, keep the bar as tight to your body as possible, taking that slack out, creating tension. Uh, it's just a very valuable tip. And I see it all the time. Even people in the gym here sometimes do it. So if you guys are in the gym and, and you're, you're watching this, Reset, take that extra second, that's gonna help build uh, your, your technical ability in the deadlift over time. It's also gonna help you just be good off the floor, okay? Because you're resetting, and when you are, say, in a powerlifting meet, okay, you only have a single rep that you get to do, so you need to practice executing that single rep to the best of your ability. I think the um, thing with this is it sounds like super simple, right? Like, is it really that important? 
but it's little things like this that I know like even from being under Joey's coaching has made a huge difference um, with me being able to pull heavy sets and just making sure I'm not doing that touch and go getting sloppy with my reps and really dialing in uh, my technique each and every time. Yeah guys, so kind of like we had said, right, with all lifts, anytime it uh, comes to a, basically a compound lift, the, the more we get off bar path, the heavier and harder that lift becomes. So with the deadlift, the, right, the more the bar is out in front of us, you know, 225 is going to feel like 315. Even though it's the same weight, okay, we're at a, a mechanical disadvantage, right, when we take that bar off of center mass. Uh, you know, we see this often. It's something that I had to work on. You know, when I was getting into deadlifting, we, you know, we always are trying to help people as, as best we can. Like I said, the one caveat with this is going to be specificity. Obviously, if you're in a strongman competition and you're doing an AMRAP set, okay, you're going to have to do what you got to do, and hopefully you've practiced enough to keep that bar as tight as possible. Uh, but that's an extreme case, okay? We're talking about for people who are in the gym, just trying to increase their lifts, uh, or maybe getting in powerlifting, we find it's very uh, advantageous for you guys to uh, be resetting each time to build that technical proficiency uh, with the lift. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you like this tip. Uh, really try to put it in with your training or if you're a coach, work with this with your athletes. Um, you know, so there's that. We have a ton of programs, it's astrength.net. Okay, we have a deadlift specific program uh, that is awesome. So if you guys are looking to increase your deadlift, head over to astrength.net, get the deadlift specific program, do the reset uh, with your deadlift between reps when you're doing that program. Uh, and then also head over to the Facebook group, The Iron Lions. Just type it in the Facebook search bar. It is a great community, like-minded individuals who are involved with strength training. Uh, we do forum checks, Q and A's, articles, all sorts of good stuff, completely free, just a way for us to give back to you guys. So. Head over there, join the group. Uh, that's all I have for today, guys. So stay a lean, mean track machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.